before making dua in salah, should we praise Allah and send salutations upon the Prophet ﷺ? First of all, it is important to know that the Prophet ﷺ told us that all dua are blocked between the heavens and the earth until a person offers salutation upon me. So the Prophet is highlighting the importance of offering salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ before making dua. This made some people believe that every time we make dua, we have to offer salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. However, if you observe the, su the, the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and the way he used to make dua, you'd find that there are two types of dua. A dua that is prescribed, that the Prophet told us to say it. And it does not contain praising Allah or offering salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. And there is dua that is general, that the Prophet told us, make dua here or there. And he did not specify a particular dua. The first type of dua, such as Sayyidul Istighfar, the master of seeking forgiveness, the best dua for seeking forgiveness. And it begins by, Allahumma anta rabbi wa ana abduk. So there is no praising of Allah and there is no offering salutation of the Prophet ﷺ. Maybe one would say, Allahumma anta rabbi is a form of praising Allah Azza wa Jal. It's possible, but there is definitely no salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. The dua we say when we wake up for tahajjud prayer in the middle of the night. Allahumma lak alhamd, anta qayyimu samawati wal ardi wa anfihinna wa lak alhamd, anta nuru samawati wal ardi wa anfihinna wa lak alhamd, anta alhaq wa qawlu qik. All of this is praising Allah. Offering salutation of, on, upon the Prophet is not mentioned here, alayhi salatu wassalam. So we understand that the prescribed dua is to be recited without praising Allah and offering salutation upon the Prophet alayhi salatu wassalam. As for general dua, such as between adhan and iqama, the adhan is over, I said the adhkar, and the iqama is in 10 minutes, I raise my hands, I'd like to ask Allah for anything, I praise Allah and I offer salutation upon the Prophet There's no problem in that, none whatsoever. Now, in the last third of the night, the same thing. When it rains, the same thing, etc. When I'm uh, 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 breaking my fast, there's no problem in that. Now the issue is, what about if a person is in prayer? And we know that there are two places in prayer that are highly recommended for us to make dua in. The first is in sujood whether this is a fard prayer or a nafil prayer, whether this is the first, second sujood or the last sujood, you are encouraged to make dua because the Prophet said, والسلام, the closest one of you is to Allah is when he's in the prostration position. So choose whatever dua you want because you'll be answered. And the second place is after the tashahud and the salat upon the Prophet ﷺ in the last rak'ah. So I'm sitting down for the last tashahud, the last sitting. I offer the salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. Before I complete my prayer and conclude it with salam, it is recommended that I make dua. And this is something also the Prophet ﷺ had directed us to say. Here, it was never reported that you praise Allah and you offer salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. And therefore, you go directly 
to your dua and you say subhana rabbi al-a'la in sujood subhana rabbi al-a'la wa bihamdih for example and then you go oh Allah pay off my debts oh Allah increase my provision oh Allah guide my children oh Allah make my daughter successful in her exams oh Allah cure my uh, uh, sick people etc there is no problem in doing that the problem would arise if you think that I have to. No, you don't have to. So offering salutation upon the Prophet while in the sujood, is it permissible? It's a dua. There's no problem if you say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad and ala Muhammad while in the sujood, but it is not part of the sunnah. So it is not something that is recommended for